Okay. So, now, what I want to do next is my pitch level and my cyclic level. So that's all based off of the zero. So now what I want to do is we're going to do our pitch first. So when I do positive, you can see I'm getting like eight and negative, I'm getting about 8.2. So I want about 12. Out of a 700, I've always done about 12. So we come over here under pitch, under the settings, and I'm going to hit the plus button. And as I hit that, you'll see that's going to slowly increase. And I'm going to take that up to, there we go, at 12.1. Let me knock this down one pop. 11, 8, 11, 9, 12. I'll give it one more back up. So yeah, we're about 12 degrees there. So now we'll come down, steady the blade from bouncing, and you can see we're right about where we need to be. Give it a little bit up, so I'm at 12.1 on negative. And I'm like 12.4 on positive, but 12.5, so let's, there we go. There we end up being about 12 degrees, both directions. So then just to show, we'll flip this around. When you get into like the tents, it's really hard to tell the difference. Sorry if this video is dragging on a little long. If we go positive, you can see we're up at the 12. Negative, we're right there at 12 within within those couple tents. So that's perfect. Now I wanna do my cyclic. So my cyclic, this, the cyclic for icon you want it to show at about 10 degrees so if i'm going to push sideways wow i'm like right there nine eight nine nine that's pretty much perfect i couldn't have did that again if i wanted to and there we go so we're at 10 degrees there that's perfect that way the fly barless system knows exactly what we're doing so i have 12 for pitch positive and negative, and then I got 10 degrees on my cyclic. The fly barless compensates and does everything appropriately from there. All right, so the only things really left, let me just go back to setting the tail, which I kind of skipped a little bit earlier. Okay, so, so now we're gonna do a tail. Um, by the way, at this stage of the game with the blades on, I do have the motor disconnected. Um, I don't want anything spooling up on me, so. But you can see now, when I go up here, I go to my center point. It's easier if you go this way. You can see my blades are even. That way I know my grips are even, everything is zeroed where it needs to be. So now. Direction was actually wrong at this point. Blades should have not been pointing up, they should have been pointing forward then the top blade will actually dictate whether you're going right or left. If you push left, the top blade will point left. Push right, the top blade will point right. And at that point, you know you have your directional set correctly. Here, I can get a little bit more throw. So I'm gonna go over here to my thing, my set, uh, computer, hit positive. And you can see I get just a little bit more throw out of that. And then negative, I can get one or two clicks on that as well. That'll give me some great tail authority on this thing that's it for the tail so really from there on it's pretty pretty easy we go in here two blades size of the blades these 670s 806s these are 700 size blades i can go in here to pick what i want to do sport acro 3d which is typically how i do it um, sport is usually fairly docile for a little slower for me. Acro kicks things up just a little bit, and then 3D again would be something where my kid would do. So if you look though, this is set up backwards. Up, oh, I want this in the number one. So that's when we gotta go back in here. 
to servo reversing. I go down to my auxiliary two and you'll see the switches right away. So now it's in the proper way. That's pretty much it for the fly barless system. Um, I don't get into running the governor, so we won't get into that or the auto level. I don't, unfortunately I never use it, so I don't get into doing any of that. This part here is just going to be for the compensations. So we know I tilt right, left. If this fly barless is trying to, so when I tilt front, it tilts back. It goes opposite of what I'm doing. And on the tail, it goes as well the opposite direction. So we are good to go. Okay, so that's it for the fly barless system. Sorry, it really did drag on here quite a bit. Um, but that's your basic setup. If you have any questions or need anything else in detail, you know, feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to help out with that. But doing these basic guidelines, you know, and getting your mechanical setup, you know, on, it's not as hard electrical. I apologize. Like I said, you know, doing this, videoing it and explaining it was actually harder than actually doing it. Um, I messed myself up a couple of spots along the way. So at this point, we're good. We can just disconnect and we're set ready to go. We're, the heli is just about ready to fly. All right, guys. Good luck programming. Hit me up with any questions, any comments. Let me know what you need. But uh, thank you very much, and you have a great day of flying. I want to thank everyone for, if you made it this far in the video, for watching this series on the Icon. Hopefully it was able to help someone out with some of it. I know I didn't, might have missed a few things, but I appreciate you watching. Uh, hopefully something like this gets better for me. This was my first time attempting this. But thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all the support and you guys watching the videos. And uh, get out there and fly and have a great day.